Meg blowing up Tyler's phone, begging to join Bet Media Group and asks Oprah to meddle. According to his longtime friend and television personality, Rolanda Watts, Tyler Perry has cemented his place in history by acquiring the two major television networks, making him the first African American to do so. It will give him control over Bet Media Group, which is also comprised of networks like VH1. In a major development for the entertainment industry, Bet has become black owned once again after 21 years, while VH1 for the first time now boasts an African-American owner. The acquisition follows the news that Paramount Global has sought to sell a majority stake in Bet Media. Earlier on in the year, the renowned actor and filmmaker expressed optimism about purchasing Bet, stating his keen interest if it were a possibility. Perry, who's already enjoyed tremendous success in collaboration with Bet, partnering with his Tyler Perry Studios banner to create the popular streaming service Bet Plus, was no stranger to the network. The actor and director was previously known as a good friend of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry, so right after hearing that Tyler acquired Bet, Meghan was blowing up Tyler's phone for her own inspirational show. As we know, two days ago there was a report that Spotify axed Meghan Markle's flagship podcast, with a set to lose a full £15 million payout. The determined Meghan, however, is still planning to create more podcasts and find a new home for the series and Tyler Perry is a new target. She plotted to join Bet to have a place for the second season of a podcast to return. A source revealed that Meghan repeatedly harassed Tyler and asked Oprah to intervene. She insisted that her invisible daughter Lilibet will be one of the heirs to Bet Entertainment in the future because Tyler is a godfather. However, sources said that Tyler earlier denied he is her godfather. Meghan and Harry would get hardly any money for the podcast, If Markle won't do any work for millions, she'll do nothing for next to nothing. Expect at best Tyler Perry to give her a presenting job on bet. But maybe Perry won't hook her up with a sympathy gig with his production group, because earlier, he refused to let her join his Atlanta production studios. An insider asserted that Meghan would never do anything on bet, being a star for colour audiences. If Tyler gave her a VH1 show above all the colour entertainers he could, The silence would be broken on Black Hollywood seeing through her. Media mogul Robert Johnson launched Bet, Black Entertainment Television, in 1980 to compete with MTV, back when MTV refused to air music videos featuring artists of colour. Bet eventually phased out music videos for scripted shows like The Game and Being Mary Jane, both filmed in Atlanta. Since its launch, the Bet Plus streaming service has experienced remarkable success. In 2021 alone, Bet Plus was responsible for half of the subscribers and nearly all the revenue growth for the channel. As the new owner of these influential networks, Perry is poised to leave an indelible mark on the future of the media company and further amplify underrepresented narratives on a global scale. Perry's net worth was recently stated by Forbes as over a billion dollars.